New tonight, Shawnee County residents are expressing their views about a Gage Park sales tax proposal. And 27 News reporter Max Dutton sat down with people on both sides of the ballot question, and he now joins us live in Gage Park to share more. Max? Well, another vote yes or vote no question is taking center stage in an upcoming election. But this time, Shawnee County residents get to decide whether or not to approve a 0.2% sales tax increase to help improve Gage Park. On a normal fall afternoon, the mini train is making noise across Gage Park. But on November 8th, a ballot question will be making the noise. We have about a million people that come to Gage Park a year, and we think about at least a quarter of those, so a quarter of a million people come from outside Shawnee County, and they're not paying any tax dollars to, to support this. And so since they're coming in buying stuff, it seemed like sales tax was a fair method. Currently, the Topeka Zoo is privately funded and funded by city taxes. Gage Park is funded by county property taxes. The Kansas Children's Discovery Center isn't receiving any tax dollars. The new plan would switch that funding to a sales tax. One Shawnee County resident doesn't like that. Well, I think it's just one more tax on top of another tax. And in this case, this is a tax that the only way you can remove it is to put another proposal in front of the voters to remove it. This is a permanent tax. Right now, if you make a $100 purchase in Topeka, it would be about $9.15 of sales tax. In Shawnee County, that'd be about $7.65. But if this ballot question passes on November 8th, both of those prices would increase by about 20 cents. Shawnee County says the tax would generate around $8 million per year. 58% of that would go to the Topeka Zoo. 22% would be used for Gage Park. 15% would go to the Kansas Children's Discovery Center. The last 5% would go to the Gage Park Improvement Authority, which would only be created if the tax passes. I absolutely think it'll be successful. All of the entities have their own master plans with, with ideas to draw in more people. And I think once we bring those together and collaborate even more, you'll see even greater things. It's important to know that if this ballot question passes, there would be no operation changes. The Kansas Children's Discovery Center would still continue to be operated by their nonprofit organization, and the Topeka Zoo would continue to be operated by the Friends of the Topeka Zoo. Reporting live in West Topeka, working for you, Max Dutton, 27 News. All right, Max, we'll see how it all plays out, and thank you for the live update.